welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Black Friday haul for you guys. And I don't have a whole lot of stuff to show you guys, just a few things. I already had done all of my Christmas shopping like prior to actually going Black Friday shopping. So basically the majority of the stuff that I bought today was for me. So I didn't buy a whole lot because I didn't want to go crazy or anything. But I am going to film a video of the stuff that I'm giving away for Christmas. So look, be on the lookout for that as well. But today I'm just going to show you stuff that I picked up today and got some good deals on from Black Friday. The first store that I have to show you guys is Bath & Body Works and they all always have really good sales on Black Friday. This year they were doing buy three, get three free. And then we also had a couple coupons for like, we had like a couple sets of them, like for a free item and then $10 off. So me and my mom, we got like four sets of like the buy three, get three free. And we had all these coupons and everything. So we got really, really, really good deals. So the first thing I got from Bath and Body Works is a soap and this is the Eucalyptus Mint scent. And if you've never tried this scent, it is my favorite like soap scent. I don't really enjoy it in like in lotion. Or... But yeah, it's like, it has a little bit of a minty scent. It just smells so fresh and clean. And I like the ones with like the little beads in it. I don't really like the foamy soap. So I picked up this one. And then I also ended up getting another one of the foamy, or the bead soaps. And this is gingerbread latte, which the lady said this was like the most popular scent of the day. And this smells just like gingerbread cookies. Oh yes, I'm so excited to use this. And each of the soaps were originally $6.50, but I got them for $3.34. And then the next thing I picked up was another little wallflower. I have a bunch of these, but I have a couple at school, but none of them like match my room really well. And I saw this one I thought was really, really cute. And this is like totally my style, these colors, just the way it looks and the little bit of bling and everything. But it's just this little like starbursty looking thing and like a bronzy gold and silver color. So I thought that was really cute. And this was originally $9.50, but I got it for, oh, I got this for free actually. This is my free item that I picked out today. So then to go along with my wallflower, I got two scents. The first one is spiced gingerbread, which is just your classic gingerbread, a little bit of a spicier scent. And the second one is chestnut birch, chestnut and birch, which I've never had before, but I smelt it in a candle and it smells really, really good. It's a little bit more subtle than what I'm used to. I'm normally like the super sweet, like cookie kind of scent, like vanilla for the Christmas time. But I thought this would be a nice thing to kind of, um, have maybe after Christmas and like just in the winter, I thought this would be a nice scent. So these were both originally $6.50 and I got them for about $3.30 as well. So then I also got one of the car scent portable, car air freshener visor clips is what it's called. And it's a really cute one. It has all these sparkles. If you can kind of see the sequins and stuff, they're like black and gold and bronze and silver. Um, I have one in my car right now and it's an Allen. He's really, really cute, but he's kind of broken. Like he lost an eye and he like the clip itself is broken. So I thought it was time to get a new one. So this is the one that I picked out. And then to go along with it, I got a scent for it. And it is the lavender and vanilla. And this is not a Christmas scent, but I actually already have a couple of these at my house that I'm waiting to put into my car that I actually should put in because my one ran out. But, um, yeah, I'll probably use this one more in the spring, but they didn't have a whole lot of scents today, so I got this one because it was the only one that I actually liked, but I'll use that probably in the spring. And once again, this was $6.50, so I got it for about $3.30 something, and then this was $3.50, so I got it for like $2.60, I think is what the price came out to. So then the last thing I got was the big purchase of the day from Bath & Body Works, and it's just a candle. I only got one just because I don't go through these very quickly, and I just bought, I have another candle I'm going to show you in a minute that I bought, and I also got a couple other ones recently, so trying to stop but this one smells so good and funny story I actually was smelling this candle and I had my bag from Victoria's Secret in my hand and I turned around and literally knocked a whole display of candles off and one of them actually shattered all over the floor in Bath and Body Works and I felt so bad because it's already busy enough in there and there's already so much chaos I'm sure it happens a lot but I felt really really bad and they didn't make me buy it or anything but I felt so bad but I did end up getting this candle instead and it is in the scent Frosty Air, and I guess this is supposed to be a winter scent. Like, it has this picture on it. And it just smells so fresh and just clean. Like, I don't know, it's a very subtle scent. It kind of has like a flowery um, scent to it. It's described as Frosty Winter Air, crisp white cotton, eucalyptus, and icy vanilla. That's probably why I like it, because I love the eucalyptus scent. And that candle was $26.50, so I got it for $13.61. That's everything that I got from Bath & Body Works, and now we're going to move on to a couple of random stores. I just have Kohl's and Bonton that I went to and just got like random little things, so I'm going to show you those before I move into Victoria's Secret. The first thing I got is another candle, and this is like my classic go-to kind of thing. It's in the scent Sugar Cookie, and it smells so good. Um, this is in Holiday, or I'm sorry, this is the brand Holiday Memories. It's just a really big candle, which I think will last me a while. 
and this candle is originally I think it's $11.99 and it was on sale for $4 and then we had 15% off and like Kohl's cash to you so I ended up getting it for literally $2 so I thought this was such a good deal just for this big candle and I'm really excited to light this and then the second thing I got from Kohl's is this life hacks um, calendar for 2017 my mom is like super into these kind of things and she already knows that I picked it out so if she watches this it's okay but um, she loves having these little calendars with like fun things to do like puzzles or things to read um, every single day so I got her this one it was originally $15 it was on sale for 10 and then I got it for seven or eight dollars with the Kohl's cash in the 15% off but I got that and I think it's really cute and I like reading the ones on here and I can't wait to, for her to like open it up and like read what's inside um, that's all that I got from Kohl's, but then we also did go to Bonton, and I ended up getting this pair of sheets that I'm really excited about because I've been wanting a pair of, like, classic, like, that Christmas print, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't even know. You'll see when I show it to you. But just, like, classic Christmassy sheets. Like, I love flannel sheets, but I don't have any, like, Christmas ones. And I was decorating for Christmas, and I was like, why don't I have Christmas sheets? So I got this pair, and it's from the brand Living Quarters LQ. It looks like this. It's, like, a maroon... Um, color and then white with like I don't even know what you call this it's like the deer or the moose the moose and then like the, the pattern and the snowflakes like it's just really really cute and I'm super excited about them and they're flannel and this was a really good deal these were a hundred dollars originally and for a queen set we got them for 30 is what it was like they were Bonton had super good deals on sheets my mom got a couple pairs and they were originally 170 and she got them for 30 so Go to Bonton if you were looking for some good sales on Black Friday because they nailed it. But I'm really excited to put these on my bed at school and kind of add to my holiday decor. I got a bunch of other stuff too while I was there, but they're kind of like presents that my mom's going to give me for Christmas. So I can't show them right now, but you'll see them in my what I got for Christmas haul. But I do have one more store to show you guys, and that was Victoria's Secret. Things are pretty expensive there, so I didn't expect to do like or get anything like wonderful, like any great deals. But I did, I am happy with what I did end up getting. So the first thing is actually my favorite thing that I got and it is a robe and I already like unwrapped it and everything and tried it on so it's going to be kind of hard to show you but it's just this red plush, they called it a comfy or a cozy robe. It is so comfortable. It's like I love the color red and I mean it's very Christmassy and then the hood is just white plush like oh my gosh it is so soft and then it has the little, it's a little VS right here on the chest. And it's long sleeve obviously, it has pockets, it's really thick. My robe right now is from Forever 21. It's very thin and it's not very long either, so it doesn't really keep me that warm um, like a robe should. So this is really nice. This was originally $60, yeah, $60, and they were on sale today for $35. For this being one of their like really good deals, they had so many left, like they had a lot. So I was really impressed with the selection that they had. They had every size you need, every color, like it was really, really cool. And then they were also having half off their sports bras. So I ended up getting this one, which is really cute. It's just a black and gray and white pattern with them, the VSX on the bottom. And this was $15 and I got it for $7.50. So. And then the last thing I got from there is a pair of pajamas actually. And people may think that they're weird, but they're actually really, really comfortable. And I'm not normally one to like, like to sleep in pajama sets because I don't sleep in pants and I can't sleep in like long, sleep I can't sleep in like long things because I get so uncomfortable and like tangled and I hate being hot when I'm sleeping so I always sleep in like shorts and a t-shirt um but I thought these would be like really comfortable because they were silky and they keep me like nice and cool and like it's just I don't know they're just comfortable and I saw them there I was like why not try them on so I tried them on and they're just so comfortable and the lady at the um counter was saying that she has a whole bunch of pairs of these and like she loves them and they just get softer as you wash them and it's just great so they're just this silk pair of pajamas. They had them in like red and purple and pink and black, but I just, I don't know, I'm obviously in a red mood today. But they just had these shorts and they're cute because they have like lace and then like a bow. And what's really nice about this set is that they come as a set, like the top and the bottom together. So you have to pick like one size. You can't like pick a different size top and bottom and everything. And, and my sizes don't always um, coincide. I was really afraid that these were gonna look like really, really big. And they are kind of big, but they have a drawstring, so you can adjust them, and they fit nicely. So, and then the top is really cute as well. It's just a tank top, and it has, like, the lace, and it's just, like, silky and... 
flowy and just really comfortable and breathable. This set though was not on sale. It was $52 and I just decided to splurge and get it because I was so in love with it when I put it on. It was really, really comfortable, really, really cute. And I'm happy that I did it though. Like every other year, Victoria's Secret always has that spend $75 and get this free bag. And I always fall for it. I always go for the bag. And they're normally really nice. Like the sizes are nice and they have zippers and they're, they're big bags and they're good quality. I use them for like traveling and stuff like that. But I hate them because they always say like Victoria's Secret all over them or they're like the one year it was like pink sequin stripes and stuff like that and I just wish that they would just stop doing that to me this year of course I qualified for this bag again and I was like it's gonna be another bag that I'm just gonna like throw under my bed never really use because it's gonna be ugly and I don't want to wear that out in public um, but they surprised me this year the bag just ended up being a plain black I guess I should take this out of the bag it's a plain black bag, um, still a good size. It does not have a zipper, and you can tell that it's, it's a thin bag, but I mean, what are you gonna do, it's free? But it's plain black, it just says Victoria's Secret, very small right up here, and it's not something that I would like, like I'll actually probably use this, like maybe as like a pool bag, or just, I don't know, like if I'm going somewhere, I just need like a tote, but not anything, I don't know, like traveling and stuff like that, so. I was really excited about this and it does of course have to have some sort of sparkle and whatnot to it so this actually came on it it's just like a little colorful stringy thing to hang on it but I'm tassel that's what it's called but I'm not gonna put that on there and then it also came with a um, I guess this is like a cosmetic bag which yes is very sparkly but it's a good size so I'm not really that mad about it like I think I'll actually probably use this for traveling because it is pretty big it's a good size and it's deep and everything so all right so that is everything in my black friday haul i know it wasn't a whole lot of stuff i didn't go too crazy but i feel like i got just the right amount of stuff especially since it was for me and i do actually have some stuff coming in the mail that i ordered online from stores that were having sales and i am planning on looking around on cyber monday as well so if i find any good deals get anything i'll probably do another haul if i have enough stuff to show you guys and show you the great deals that i found but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye